It is not known when interstellar travel technologies will appear or if they will appear at all, but the direction of the first such flight has already been determined. Most likely, the destination will be Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to us. In this video, we will talk about the mysterious Alpha Centauri, where the alien invaders come from and you will learn about the new discovery of scientists which shocked them and about the next mission to Alpha Centauri. Subscribe to my channel, fasten your seatbelts, we are taking off. Proxima b is one of the brightest stars in the southern sky and has been used by Pacific Islanders for navigation since ancient times. However, even a relatively weak telescope allows you to see that the system includes two stars, the yellow Alpha Centauri A and the orange Alpha Centauri B, both slightly larger and brighter than the Sun. Bound by gravity, they rotate in a fairly close neighborhood, the distance between the stars varies between 40 to 47 astronomical units, and A and B complete a revolution in 80 of our years. Over a century ago, astronomers noticed that one of the stars in the vicinity of this pair moves in a very similar way to it. Further observations showed that it is gravitationally connected to the Alpha Centauri system, being its younger component. The third star is located at a distance from the main par, bypassing the tandem A and B with a period of about 550,000 Earth years. Moving along an elongated orbit, it turns out to be closer to us for long periods of time than the stars A and B. This is also indicated by her name, Proxima Centauri. It is from the triple system of Alpha Centauri that alien invaders arrive on Earth, described in the main hit of modern Chinese science fiction, Lu Cixin's novel The Three-Body Problem. However, real Centauri, if they exist, would hardly attack the Sun, because the neighboring system Lumen 16AB is located 0.69 light-years closer. True, it consists of a pair of brown dwarfs, barely warm, fail stars, but the inhabitants of the planet near Proxima Centauri should be accustomed to such a weak light. Their home star is a red dwarf about seven times smaller than the Sun. Because of this, the habitable zone, the region around the star where the temperature is moderate enough and liquid water can remain on the surface of the planet, is much smaller for Proxima Centauri than for the Sun. The possible future Earthlings, migrants and Centauri are lucky. This star just has a small planet lying at the right distance. Proxima b is a planet slightly larger than ours, the closest to us and one of the most promising candidates for habitation. There is another planet in the star system, Proxima c, but it is too far away and looks more like an icy Neptune than Earth. But the most interesting thing that I told you about at the beginning is the new discovery of Proxima d. Wait a minute, what about habitability? In the coming decades, the Breakthrough Starshot project is going to send a flotilla of interstellar ships to Proxima Centauri, which sounds like science fiction, but the authorities who put their hand to it make us believe in the realism of the task. Among its founders are such titans as Stephen Hawking, Mark Zuckerberg, and Yuri Milner, the famous Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and others. The miniature probes are even named appropriately – Starships. It is assumed that a thousand of such devices weighing no more than one gram will be delivered to a high orbit and thrown into free flight in a swarm. Here, the probes will deploy solar sails measuring 4 by 4 meters. The ultra-thin foil will reflect the incident radiation, accelerating the flight like a sail blown by the wind. Almost all the technologies needed for this already exist, but the problem is that each of them needs to be made orders of magnitude smaller and more efficient. Doubt the habitability of Proxima Centauri b makes our own star a restless red dwarf. The exoplanet is within its habitable zone, 20 times closer to the star than the Earth is to the Sun. The flux of radiation here is about two-thirds of what our planet receives. Calculations show that the equilibrium temperature of Proxima Centauri b is only slightly less than that of the Earth. However, the red war flares up every now and then, showering the planet with ultraviolet and X-rays that can completely sterilize it. A powerful stellar wind and coronal ejection flows can easily carry away both the atmosphere and water from the surface. According to calculations, in just tens of millions of years the planet should be completely naked. 
A strong magnetic field would help protect against such an impact, but whether Proxima B has it is unknown. Now let's finally move on to the new discovery of Proxima D. A year in it is only about 5 Earth days. It orbits very close to its parent star, 10 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. The mass of the planet is about a quarter of the mass of the Earth. Proxima D does not fall into the habitable zone. The planet is too hot for liquid water to remain on its surface. The planet was discovered by the radial displacement method. Astronomers have observed the displacement of the parent star caused by the movement of Proxima D. The effect of Proxima D's gravity is so small that it causes Proxima Centauri to oscillate at about 0.8 miles per hour. It is not surprising that the neighboring and so diverse system is of great interest. By cosmic standards, it is within easy reach, but for us these unfortunate four and a half light years are still at an inaccessible distance. How do you like our exciting journey? And now you can unfasten your belts, subscribe to my channel and join our communities using the links in the description of this video to keep abreast of events from the world of science and space. Hugs.